what are you doing, Dad? I'm uh, learning to play the mouth organ. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> a mouth note. Hi guys, welcome to A Clary Tale. Today is a little bit of a fun day because I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm doing a bit of a you decide what we get up to today. I know it's a little self-indulgent so like I said in my planning video if just four people play along and like my mum I'm totally fine with that. It's all just a bit of fun isn't it? Um, but I'm meeting up with my friend Josh and uh, so Josh has been a good friend of Simon and I for about two years now so we're hanging out today. It should be a fun day all round. We just basically what happened was we were messaging like what do you want to do? Well what do you want to do? I don't know what do you want to do? You know like in Jungle Book and those beetle vultures we were basically that and Josh suggested well why don't we do sort of Instagram polls I think he's seen a video of it before a poll on Instagram where you say where should we start here or here and then we go to whichever has the most votes so I thought it'd be a bit of a fun thing to do we'll do it with rides as well maybe food and snacks and it should be a fun little day. So we're probably going to end up in a few parks today. The only thing I've said to Josh is I do want to go to see Happily Ever After the fireworks show. I didn't see it in February and the day that my mum and dad and I are going to Magic Kingdom we're going really early for breakfast so I don't think we'd last the whole day into the evening. So I think this is the only chance really that I'll get to see it this trip. So that was the only thing. So we will end up in Magic Kingdom tonight but everything else I'm going to let you guys decide and uh, so I hope you enjoy following along this video and at the time I know this is going to be up at the time this is probably going to be it's Easter now it's probably going to be up at Christmas let's be real um but I hope you enjoy and we'll see you well I'll get back to you I'm going to do the poll now to work out which part to start with and I'll get back to you when we've got the results so I'm here at the car park at Pop Century my parents just dropped me off they're gonna have a little walk around the resort and I think they might have a little walk to art reanimation as well that'll be nice for them and um, I'm meeting Josh here he's staying here and then we're just gonna get the resort bus straight to one of the places that I put in the poll so it looks like I put in the poll should we go to Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom well actually I put Toy Story Land or Pandora and the majority have said uh, Toy Story Land, I don't know what I had to think then, which is exciting so I'm going to tell Josh now, I think he knows anyway, and we're going to head straight to Hollywood Studios, <laughs> this is so exciting, I love like not knowing where we're going to end up. So here we are at Pop, I love this, 50s, 60s, 70s, go on look at that massive pop, look at this, 50s, 60s and then this massive pop. 70s, 80s. So yeah, we're at Pop. I've just seen Josh and given him a load of English chocolate and he gave me a load of American stuff, including this. He knew I'd love it. Sundrop, never heard of it. Apparently it's like a cherry Mountain Dew, like code red. So excited for that. Um, but I've, Dad's just taken the rest to put in the car because I don't want anything to melt. Um, but yeah, thanks Josh. I'm just waiting for him to get back from the his room and then we're gonna go head straight to Hollywood Studios. I just looked at the voting so far. It's actually quite tight. Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. Hollywood Studios is like 56% right now. Um, but yeah, it's winning, so we're gonna go there. Here we go then, we're going to Hollywood Studios. Hello, welcome. Hello. Look at these, this, these are speedy. They're going so fast. This is at Hollywood Studios now. Oh, there's one that's uncovered. Zooming by. Oh, it's gonna be great. We are here in Hollywood Studios. It's lovely and sunny. Look at the sky. So we're heading into Toy Story Land because that's what you guys said. Um, I've just put a poll up for Rock and Roller Coaster and Star Tours. So we'll see what wins that. Um, but we're just gonna have a little wander around uh, Toy Story Land first. Oh wow, there's an Aladdin Aladdin preview. We're here, it's very busy, it's very hot. Uh, the, ride, the line for Slinky is massive, so we're not gonna bother with that. Look at this! We've got Slinky. Oh my gosh. So cool. It's Dumbo and my birthday. Love it. 
is really dark. We are on a rock and roller coaster because the pole won this against Star Wars. This won by a landslide. So we are on Star we're on rock and roller coaster, sorry. I've, because I'm filming on Instagram as well, I'm forgetting what I've done where. Um, but yeah, we're here on, let me show you this. We are right at the back as well, so this should be fun. But we'll see you after it. Rocket roller was so good. I forget how good that that beginning bit is. Just can't beat it. Uh, we are now heading to. Well, we're going to stand in the middle. I put up a vote for a show. Um, Frozen and Indiana Jones. They're both here, so we're going to head over there. And in five minutes, I'll check and see which one because they've both got a show in the next ten minutes. One's at quarter past, one's at half past. So we'll see what wins and go and do that. I feel like it might be Frozen though. I think we'll see. <laughs> Frozen one, yay! So we're heading in to the Frozen Theatre. I've not done this for ages, so I'm really excited to do this. And Josh has never done it, so this should be a laugh. What is this? Empty? <laughs> Why are you finding Nemo? I'm still recovering from the first 11 minutes of all. Oh, very dead. Bonnie propelled Elsa toward her destiny, and our story forward to the best day ever Coronation Day! Coronation Day! Like all men, I love flowers. <laughs> so we're going to and it was time for Elsa to take the crown. Elsa steals the crown. Oh, she did it. Did you sleep through all of their No History 101? I couldn't pay attention. I was next to this guy, Andy, and he was always telling me these stories about how he thought his toys were alive. And after the third one, I was like, oh, good, he's done. And then here comes the fourth. <laughs> She accidentally threw ice all over the ballroom. And everyone called her a witch and a sorcerer. Oh, sure. And then she impaled someone. She impaled someone. Wait, what? <laughs> she didn't impale me. Sorry. <laughs> Take it out. Okay. <laughs> Souvenir. <laughs> That's what Story Mania. Uh, so we're going in now. This is going to be really exciting. I've not done it since they've redone it and since it's been in this land. When you come into Toy Story Mania for the Fast Pass queue, you can't really see Mr. Potato Head, which is a shame. We are on at Toy Story. Who's going to win? Four points! Woo! Hey, partners! Welcome to the practice game! Go ahead and pull the strike! <laughs> oh my god, I'm winning! I'm winning! I told you I'm horrible at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, it's all going to be about Is the Is this the last one now? The last, yeah. the fight, oh, this is killing me. Here we go. Who wins, who wins? Oh, you won! No! Come back. Come back, King. <laughs> was it, have we got a best in vehicle? That was you? Yes, You won Best in Vehicle! Yes! <gasps> I don't know how they get that high. <laughs> Josh just said, wouldn't it be funny if we got out and there would be no one else in the vehicle? <laughs> so coming out of Toy Story Mania, they have the popsicle stick wall and you can only get a picture of it if you've been on Toy Story Mania. You can't come otherwise. So we're gonna go and take a picture at the popsicle stick wall. So we've got this checkerboard wall and then we've got the popsicle stick wall. Right, we are on our way out of Hollywood Studios and we're gonna go and get to Magic Kingdom now. So I'm gonna put the next poll up for what ride to do when we get there. I've just put a poll up about what we wanna do for dinner. We looked up on the app and the only reservations that we can still get are Skipper Canteen, Liberty Tree Cavern, and there was another one, but anyway, I put those two on the on the poll and it's been it's tight so far, so we'll see where we end up tonight. It's exciting. I'd like to try and do a, a character greet when we're at MK, so we might do a poll for that as well. Just got to Magic Kingdom. It's very magical, of course it is. Uh, we're heading over to Fantasyland. I've done a poll for the two either Donald and Goofy or Daisy and Minnie. It's gonna be boys v girls. Um, I'm not, I've not looked at the results yet, but we're gonna head over to that direction and yeah, see who we end up going to see. This looks so strange in Magic Kingdom. So here's the castle and they've drained the moat. How odd is this? Apparently the widening sidewalks and stuff. 
but it looks really weird. We are here and you guys voted for Daisy and Pluto. I completely forgot that it's not mini anymore here, so that vote was a bit um, kind of different, so sorry about that. But yeah, Pluto's over there and we've got Daisy over here. Dumbo treats. So we've got a Dumbo cookie that looks like a lot of icing that might be a bit sickly but they've got the cupcakes as well so this one's got a peanut on it and this one look at this little hat and feather I might have to get this one later Hello. it's the last one so I have to get it thank you right skipper canteen won it was close though it was like 54 percent skipper canteen so it was really close have you been on the jungle cruise the ride yeah it's excellent so it's pretty much the same thing only we let you eat drinks a little bit nicer okay uh, so everything here will be inspired by that ride that's why you see all the fun artifacts here we've collected throughout our travels do they point out some of the highlights in the room for you yeah. no okay so there's one right there there's another one over there and another oh. one over there Here all day. <laughs> I am very sorry about the windows too. We tried to clean them, but they're just really stained. You know? <laughs> it was a real pain too to clean them. Oh! Yeah, yeah. So I'm so glad to get the canteen one. It's so good in here. That waitress just said so many jokes and it's hilarious. Just my kind of humour, my punny sense of humour. Um, I'm going to order the chicken. It's the only one I like. I've not done a poll for it because obviously it's the only one I like anyway. Much river water here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There's the melon frosty light ice. I'm so confused. I'm some of the filtered stuff too, just in case. So just in case. But I promise that I, won't, that I promise I won't tell you. I've been drinking my whole life and I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Your face when you I was just like, I suddenly thought, wait, what did you order? <laughs> so she just came back and said she'd gone to the river to get us this water. I'm so confused. Wait, what is it? It looks really murky. Can you drink it? It smells sweet. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so funny though, what a laugh. So if you've been to Cool Cool in Epcot, they have the Fanta Melon Frosty and they serve it here. It's so good. We're gonna ask her what this is because we have no idea. All right. It's something familiar. from this list. Oh, is it, is it just Powerade? What do we think? What do we think? Nope. No. Uh, I'll give you, you pull it over, taste test it. <laughs> So she said it's four drinks from that menu. Oh my god. She's just essentially giving us a free drink though. Great. <laughs> so why did we get this? I guess because she likes us. I thought she said, do you want some fries? Fries. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I think she must really like us because we were having a bit of a laugh with this river water and she's brought us out this. How cute. I love it. So, you guys know I'm a bit of a, a awkward eater. Uh, well, picky eater. I've asked for the spicy sauce on the side and I've swapped the rice for potatoes. But this is it. This is that it takes like chicken because it is. So we did a poll for the rice. Um, I did people mover versus the carousel, which is behind me. And people mover won. So this is what we're doing. Whoa, look at this for Tron. Whoa. I'm so excited for that. Chicken! <laughs> we are heading to Haunted Mansion because on the poll, Haunted Mansion versus Small World, it won by, it was 80% Haunted Mansion, 20% Small World. 
what does Small World do to you guys? I love Small World, but we're going on Haunted Mansion. Um, and then I've done a load of shows because it's so busy here that that's all we can really do. So I've done like Jamboree versus Phil and Magic, all that sort of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what wins there. Oh, into the doom buggy. I put Pirates up against Small World because I'm trying to get on Small World, but we're here on Pirates because it won by a landslide. Why anchor now, you swabbies? What may I offer for these hearty heads? Everyone a egg layer. Not less they be laying golden eggs. Belay there, you bilge rat. Quit your cooking. A gentleman won't go around. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. So the next one, I'm not gonna lie, we put Jamboree against Tiki Room thinking that Jamboree would win. <laughs> Tiki Room's won, so we're going to do Tiki Room and we're not best pleased because we're gonna be singing it all night now. Here we are at Tiki Room. Closed? <laughs> oh is it closed? No, no, we're open. Um. <laughs> oh pants. <laughs> We, uh, we were we were hoping, we were both very hoping that it was closed. <laughs> oh, right, tiki room. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so we have managed to book a fast pass for Big on the Mountain, so obviously I'm not going to do a poll for this one. We still can't believe you made us <laughs> sit through Tiki Room. <laughs> We've got it in our heads and it's driving us crazy. Uh, Thunder Mountain was amazing. We're now heading to, I did a shows poll and it was Hall of Presidents versus Phil and Magic and Phil and Magic won by about 87% which is crazy but also good because it's a really nice show so we're heading over there now and then I think that's going to be pretty much it and it'll be time for oh I nearly said wishes then happily ever after so we've got an, oh, an empty Phil and Magic look at this <laughs> right, we are heading to watch Happily Ever After. Look at this. So we did a vote for the snack, but it's already gone, but I'll put a picture here. Um, you guys voted ice cream, which actually quite shocked me because I put I put up a poll for cupcakes or ice cream. And ice cream won, so we got the Peter Pan float from Storybook Treats. Really good, it's like a lime ice cream with Sprite, it's like a Sprite float, it's really delicious. Uh, we're now trying to find a spot for Happy Ever After. We are here, but I'm not going to be able to video because there's lots of <gasps> kids on shoulders. But I might be able to get some fireworks, some fireworks shots. Oh, it's starting! Oh no. <laughs> Magic Kingdom I had the most wonderful day with Josh Josh thank you so so much and thank you so much for this idea of the Instagram polls because it was such a laugh I really hope you had a good day too I think there was only one poll we didn't manage to complete um it was I did a carousel of progress and the laugh floor poll and I didn't get to finish that um but everything else we did there were a few surprises um 
tiki room versus country bear jamboree was a massive surprise for me i couldn't believe we ended up on tiki room <laughs> josh was like are you sure they, they like you because <laughs> oh, we were having such a laugh about being on being made to be listening to the tiki room uh, but it was just that was i think that was actually my highlight because we were just having such a giggle about it another surprise actually was where we ate skipper canteen versus liberty and Tra tavern it was so close if you've never done skipper canteen before it's such a hidden gem you've got to go it's so quiet in there because it's so big and it's just a real laugh really good word puns and really good food and it's worth it for the the fanta melon frosty alone i think another surprise was I think an early one, Star Tours versus Rock and Roller and Rock and Roller winning. Just with everyone loving Star Wars and the new land coming, I thought that might get more of a vote, but Rock and Roller won by a landslide. But yeah, it was really fun, really fun day. Quite eye-opening seeing what everyone's like preferences as well. Really fun to see. But I really hope you enjoyed following along that on Instagram at the time. I know this is going to be later, so I can only apologise for that. I think as well, because I was doing Instagram on my phone, trying to work out where we're going next, I did. it did mean that the camera suffered a little bit. I wasn't vlogging as much because... Uh, we were trying to work out where, like, what was winning and stuff like that. So I wasn't on my camera as much. So it was hard to juggle the two. But I hope I managed to get as much as I could on film. And I really hope you enjoyed this. You guys decide what we get up to kind of vlog. Maybe I do it again in the future. It was lots of fun. I really enjoyed it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. And we are actually going back to Magic Kingdom. So I'm going with my parents to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. We've got to be our guest breakfast. Very exciting. So we'll see you then. Bye. Make your memories. Make your memories. Take your pictures. Make your memories.